Hello, Pally! Happy Halloween! Today is Thursday, October 31st, 2019. And In Focus starts right now. The homecoming dance is this Saturday. The College and Career Center is holding workshops. And Spirit Week festivities continue. All that and more is coming up on today's show. Welcome to In Focus. I'm Lulu Gaither. And I'm Yasmin Futrichowicz. There's a lot going on around campus. Here are some important announcements from today's campus bulletin. Spirit Week is in full swing, which means homecoming dance is this Saturday night. The dance will take place from 7 to 10 p.m. in the small gym. Tickets are $5 with an ASB card if purchased before the night of the dance, or $10 without an ASB card and at the door. Tickets are on sale on the Pali Web Store or at ASB Bookkeeper's Office in the Tower Building. Guest passes to the dance can be found at the link on screen or picked up outside the ASB Bookkeeper's Office. The testing center will be closing at 2 p.m. on Friday because of the Spirit Rally. Any students planning on taking tests should, in the testing center should plan accordingly. The College and Career Center will host two events next week to help seniors applying to college. On Monday at 8.20 a.m., the CNCC will hold a presentation on college alumni interviews. Students will need a signed college permission slip to attend, which can be found on the wall across from the CNCC. On Tuesday, during tutorials, students will be able to get help on forms needed to, for non-common app schools. The College Police Department is enforcing the city's helmet laws and students should be aware that officers are giving tickets to those who are not wearing bike helmets while biking, scootering, or skateboarding. The consequences for not wearing a helmet while biking, scootering, or skateboarding in Palo Alto is either a $200 fine or a traffic class which a student must attend with a parent on a weekday. The class can only be taken once subsequent tickets must be paid. Boo! Ah! <laughs> Lily, you scared me. Well, it is Halloween today. Our resident historian, Sam Hirschman, is here now to tell us more about this spooky holiday. Thanks, Yasmin and Lulu. As we all know, Halloween occurs today, October 31st, and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the history of this festival. Halloween originates from the ancient Celtic holiday of Samhain, and well as All Hallows' Eve, both of which honor and celebrate the dead. Although Halloween was celebrated early in American history, it didn't become widely celebrated until the second half of the 19th century. Now before I go, let me ask you a quick question. Why are skeletons always so calm? Nothing gets under their skin. Back to you. One, Sam. Don't go anywhere, Pally. We'll be right back after the break. You know, I think I'm about as close to you as I can possibly be. All the love I gave you, I want it back. What? Now. Uh, I, I've I, got I, yours in the car. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Is there something I can do for you? I think I love you. There is something that 
that makes me feel good. There is something at this stage of the game that, that makes me feel good and makes sense, and it's you. It's always been you. Huh? There are things in life that can hurt you, that make you bleeding and bruised, and then there are things in life that can hurt you that, that don't make you bleeding and bruised, and they all hurt. Welcome back, Valley. Now let's see what's topping today's headlines in News Minute. California remains on the edge and, mul and under multiple red flag warnings as more than 10 wildfires burn across the state. Hurricane force winds and low humidity are helping to spread the fires. In Simi Valley, a new place called the Easy Fire has already burned over 1,300 acres and is threatening the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library, where former, former President Reagan and First Lady Nancy Reagan are buried. In Northern California, the Kincaid Fire continues to burn in Sonoma County, causing the evacuations of almost 200,000 residents and blowing smoke into the Bay Area, affecting air quality. A key witness in the impeachment probe, top Ukraine diplomat Bill Taylor, is willing to testify publicly about what he said is a quid pro quo between the White House and Ukraine's president. The House voted this morning to formalize the rules for the impeachment inquiry in President Trump and Democrats say that, the start, that they will start public hearings soon. Teen climate activist Greta Thunberg de declined to accept a $52,000 Nordic Council environmental prize on Tuesday. While acknowledging it was a huge honor, she said she would not accept the award until Nordic countries take the action she considers necessary to battle climate change. The activist said there is a large gap between the Nordic countries' politics and actions and what science says is necessary. It's great to hear about young teens standing in for what they believe in. It reminds me of when Pali students took part in the climate rallies inspired by Greta, and today those same students are dressed up in a different way, all related to Pali Spirit Weeks. Now let's see what's going on with Spirit Week. like Spirit Week is going well and there's a close race to see which class will win. Our athletic teams however made up for are made up of students from every grade. Let's see what's coming up in the world of Pali Sports. Jason is in the studio now with the latest in Pali Sports news. What do we do what do we have coming for tonight and tomorrow Jason? Thanks Lulu and Yasmin. We have a few games left this week. Let's see where they are. Today at 3.30, girls varsity field hockey plays away at Homestead, followed by JV field hockey at 4.45. Tomorrow, JV football has a home game against Mountain View starting at 4.30. Then, starting at 7 o'clock, varsity football plays Mountain View in Pally's homecoming game. That's all for me. Back to you. Well, that does it for today's episode. Be sure to visit our website to check out old episodes, check the bulletin, or to send us an email. Until next time, have a great day and happy Halloween, Pally. Ha, ha, ha.